so we had a very vague idea of how to make bread. Bread is something simple, so what everybody knows is you need flour, you need water, you need a bit of salt, and you mix them and you have bread. But it's much more complicated than that. So our consultant really took us through step by step. And when we got into the business, that's when we realized uh, the challenges that are there, the whole process. And I would say now we have mastered the process of uh, bread making. It's one year and about two months since we started. So production side, we are comfortable with that. We are okay with that. Now we are looking forward to venture into more products like uh, burger buns or hot dog buns. So first things first, I mean, uh, you must have seen around that we give a high importance on cleanliness and safety. Safety for workers and cleanliness. Our motto is that we must give quality bread, organic bread to our customers. That is our motto and that's what we believe in. This is something that we should take home and, and be able to eat. Other, other people probably don't do that, but for us, we feel pride in that. <clears throat> so the first thing is cleanliness. So our storage has to be uh, top notch. So the flour, first of all, is mixed with water in a big mixer. Uh, we have our other ingredients, sugar and oil, which are mixed separately, pre-mixed. Uh, so once the mixture is done, uh, then, the, then the dough is left to, for cutting. And after it is cutting, it is placed into tins. From there, it goes into a prover room. Now in the prover room, the bread raises. So it's like a ferment, it's a, it's a process for uh, to make better bread so and to make the process a bit faster if you leave it without the prover room it will take much longer much much longer so it's just a, a process to make it slightly faster from there it goes into the ovens from the ovens we have to remove them deep pan them after deep panning they need to cool down now that's the very critical process as well for at first I did not know myself that the bread would take so much time to cool down if it does not cool down correctly, it cools down too fast or too slowly, you have a problem. After that, we, it goes in for slicing, packing, then it goes into the crates and finally ready for delivery. So that takes roughly about seven hours. So Capital, uh, when we started off venturing into this business, we had no idea on the capital required for it. And to us, we just factored in the major uh, items, like for example, the oven, the mixers, probably one or two vehicles. But there's a lot more to it. If you have gone around and seen, there's a lot of small, small items. So when we started, we did not have a big budget for it. But as we went along and we saw the requirements, so we obviously had to pull out some of it from our other running business. We had a few savings here and there. So it took us much longer than expected. But we are not uh, complaining about that. I believe if we go the right way, even if it's slow, we will succeed. So our foundation had to be good. So over, over the one year since we started this project, uh, we started uh, the groundwork in July 2020. So from July 2020 to basically last year, December, we have been slowly, slowly investing into the company. So it was, we, didn't, we don't borrow. As Muslims, we don't believe in interest. So we don't go to the bank. We, we are all self-funded. But it took time, but it's okay. We are okay with that.